that's the Havana and um, what I'm going to do today is open up one of my private collections I have and it's the Hoya de Montre Humidor which has the Grand Pyramides and the Hoya de Montre Idemus. On Thursday night we went through the Hoya Grand Pyramides so today um, before everybody else tries it I thought I'll give myself a treat and try the Hoya de Montre Idemus. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the humidor that we have. Absolutely beautiful humidor. There's only 500 of these made. Um, the number that I have is... I'm not going to tell you what number I have because it's, it's a secret. But total 500 made. So um, it's a beautiful um, craftsmanship, as you can see. All hand carved. Well presented. The whole humidor is made in, in, in Havana. This humidor was made in 2004 for the for La Casa de Habanos worldwide. Um, as you can see, I have smoked, well, we have smoked the Grand Pyramides. And now, um, we're going to smoke the Hoya de Montre Grand, not Grand, sorry, my apologies, the Diedemus. Beautiful, nine and a quarter inch cigar. And um, I'm just going to get myself a cutter and um, see how it is. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cut the cigar first. I'm going to pre-light the cigar um, just to build up the flavour. I'm going to use matches. Obviously, being a, a double figurado, I'll only, I'll only need um, two matches or may even need one. So, um, I'm going to and Gordon, uh, uh, unfortunately I've got his second name, uh, but they were showing to pre-light the cigar and the flavour just builds up inside it rather than taking it to your mouth. If you've tried this, I think I would definitely recommend it. It's superb. Slightly on the tight side, but obviously with the Figurados, you get that. Once it gets past the actual the, the tip of the cigar, so about an inch and a half into it, the cigar will open up. Initial taste is very, mm, very creamy. It's got hints of pepper coming through. A typical Hoyo blend, though. When I say typical, you know, this cigar is old, it is aged from 2004. It's got beautiful, rich aromas to it. Very creamy. Not much earthiness as um, a Hoyo normally produces. But for D. Dimas, it's been a while since I smoked. But, uh, well, it's never, I've never smoked a Hoyo D. Dimas. The last time I smoked a D. Dimas was the punch for the Italian market. And this is just. This one is just an outstanding cigar, well blended. Well, I'll report back when I smoked halfway through and um, tell you my version of it then. But I am honoured myself and um, I'm hoping that you guys watching it are salivating and uh, wait for the next half. Thanks. Well took me a little time to get to here because I was just enjoying the cigar so much that I forgot that I had to come in um, tell you guys the, the half at uh, the halfway point for the Diademus. Well what can I say? What an absolutely beautiful cigar this is. It is just flavour all the way down. Um, it's aging just beautifully. The guys are who I've got a hold of this humidor, I would suggest you would try a DDMS now. Uh, well, not just one, quite a few. Because the flavour is leaving, leaving me in my palate right now is very flor floral, very floral, uh, very rich, creamy flavour. 
you've got the pepperiness coming through. I don't, there's no harshness in it at all. The draw, absolutely beautiful. It's picking up now. Smoking a cigar, as you all know, that when you smoke it, the cigar gets pretty soft when you touch it. This has stayed firm all the way down. Beautiful ash, as you can see. Gorgeous band. Well constructed cigar. Very rich in taste. There's no um, taste of ammonia. It has dispersed, definitely. And it's only getting better. And the flavour is just getting richer and richer as I smoke it out. Well, we've come to, I've come to the second third of the cigar, and um, the cigar has just picked up in flavor considerably. I have to uh, admit that I had to put it down for half an hour because I had to go upstairs. Um, obviously, I'm doing this while the shop is open, uh, sitting here with the guys in the lounge and enjoying this cigar. But after I relit it, um, obviously, you guys who have experience relighting the cigar half an hour later that you're smoking increases in flavor intensely and this is exactly what this has done so if i hadn't put it down and carried on where i left it from um it would have been very consistent all the way through very smooth very rich in flavor but because i had to relight it uh the cigar has picked up in flavor considerably um which is good for me because i like uh depth in flavor and for this Hoyo, it's absolutely superb. So um, I'm on my second, second third of the cigar. As you can see, um, the ash is still beautifully held. Well constructed, well packed cigar. Hasn't got soft at all. Um, draw is still very considerable, uh, consistent. But very rich in nutmeg got a lot of cinnamon coming through now got hints of sweetness coming through very subtle though um, it's it's an absolutely beautiful cigar I know I keep saying beautiful because it is it's a very delicious very yummy cigar the cigar that you just want to take two two and a half hours two hour 45 minutes to smoke slowly um, so when I when I've come to the last section of it, I will come back and report back and uh, tell you my final verdict. Well, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely superb. So well, I'll see you guys in a minute. I've got the last part of this Diademus, the Hoya de Montre, from the Humido, which was um, released in 2004 for the La Casa. And I must say, what an amazing cigar. Just before getting to the last end of the cigar, um, it got really heavy got really earthy yes i had the, i had some acrid taste coming in very bitter um but i would say lasted for a couple of minutes and then just disappeared and it's pure flavor flavor coming through very intense finish full-on cigar towards the bottom but hey what do you expect when it's a nine and a quarter inch cigar and you've got all the flavors down to the last nub of it um, all I can say, it's an absolutely amazing Didymus, well worth the smoke, and I'm happy to have um, enjoyed the cigar from the humidor that we've opened up, and um, it's just, yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, this is, uh, my name's AJ from La Casa de Habana in London, so if you're around and uh, want to come and have a cigar in our wonderful lounge, come along. We'll um, tidy my humidor up a bit and um, go through some of the collections we have. So thank you for watching and um, hasta luego.